your complete weather forecast from the boys of Warren County AM. Good morning. It is 13 minutes after 8 o'clock. It's Wednesday, February the 8th. We have partly sunny skies at the moment. 24 is our temperature. We do not have a wind chill this morning as our winds are calm and our humidity at 100%. Your forecast is courtesy of Monmouth Farm and Home Realty. For today, a 20% chance of rain after 5. Plenty of clouds to go around, high of 43, but uh, not much wind to speak of. A southeast wind, 5 to 10 miles per hour throughout the day. Rain develops tonight, mainly after 8 p.m. The rain could be heavy at times. Steady temperature around 38. Breezy with an east wind gusting near 30 miles per hour. Chance of rain 100%. Could see 1 to 2 inches overnight tonight. Tomorrow, rain mainly before noon. Steady temperature of 36. North wind will gust as high as 40 miles per hour. New rainfall amounts of a half to three quarters of an inch tomorrow morning. By Thursday night, cloudy and colder with a low around 26. Friday, partly sunny. We'll see normal temperatures, seasonal temperatures for a high of 32. Friday night, clear, low around 18. Saturday, sunny and 38. Sunday, sunny for the Super Bowl, high of 47. Monday, sunny and 47. Currently, it is 24. Joining me in the studio this morning from the Bean Jamison Community Center is Executive Director Nancy Mallon. Hi, Nancy. Hello, Vanessa. How are you? I am great. How about you? Getting ready to build an ark. Yes, we may need it. A couple, uh, two, two and a half possible inches of rain. We'll, we'll just see what happens. Yeah, the ground can use it. So it's not all bad. And it's rain, not snow. And northeast uh, Iowa and uh, northwest uh, Illinois they're supposed to see that two to six inches from that line of Washington, Iowa to Dubuque, Illinois. So let's, or Galena, Illinois, I should say. So that's a lot of rain. Yeah, rain for us, snow for them. Snow for them. Yeah. Well, again, glad it's rain here and not snow. All right, Nancy, what is going on at the Jamison Community Center this month? As always, we have a lot happening. Our senior nutrition routes, I'm happy to say we've been able to move quite a few people off the waiting list. We still have some on there because the calls continue to come in, but we are turning that over. So people that contact us about the program are able to start receiving meals in a relatively fast time. So important for older people in our community. Nutrition plays a huge role in people's health, so both physical health and mental health. And we wanna make sure that everyone has access to adequate nutrition to support an active, healthy lifestyle. How does your senior nutrition get funded? So partial funding comes from the Western Illinois Area Agency on Aging, and that is a combination of state and federal funding. We have, um, wonderful funding from Warren County United Way and a new grant this year from Moline Foundation. So those are both greatly appreciated. We have community contributions and <clears throat> seed your um, nutrition participant contributions, as well as a contribution from Jamison Community Center. So it takes a lot of funding to make this program happen from many different sources. And how many people do we have currently on the nutrition program for seniors? So we're currently serving about 225 a day. That can fluctuate a little bit. Um, we have a congregate meal site open in Alito at the Mercer County Senior Center. Shout out to Kim. She runs a wonderful organization there. And so the participation there varies a little bit from day to day. Okay. Any congregate meals in Warren or Henderson? Um, as soon as we have staff for our site manager positions, we will reopen those sites after a long hiatus. And that's COVID, right? Yes. So we closed, we were mandated to close during COVID. Um, we've had the green light to open for quite some time. And we've been advertising those positions. They're part-time positions. It's about 15 hours a week. And I think that there's a requirement that people be able to um, take the food service sanitation manager training and pass the test that goes along with that. We will pay for the training, 
um, but people have to have the ability to pass the test. So background in food service can be helpful. Um, it would be a great part-time position for someone that has children in school during the day and is looking to supplement family income because the hours are really conducive to the school schedule. It's going to be approximately 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., depending on which site they go to. Some of ours have a little less traffic than others. We have sites um, planned at Strom Center in Monmouth. We have one in Kirkwood at the um, Kirkwood Senior Center. We have two in Henderson County, one in Aquaca, one in Stronghurst one in Roseville, and one in Alexis. So some of those are shared positions. We can easily easily share the Alexis and Roseville position because those are not operating five days a week. Um, Kirkwood it would be a separate site and Strom Center would be a separate site. So yeah, that's uh, someone who may have kids, that's a great you know 10 to one. Like you said, that's mm -hmm. an opportunity to earn some income and be helping others, um, maybe students who don't have classes at that time that mm -hmm. uh, could take that might be interested in in uh, social services or some sort of a degree in that background, um, and, and getting the sanitation license. That's that's great if you're going to pay for it. Yes. You know, that, that's nice to have added to to their background. So it is, and it's also an opportunity if people are recently retired. Sure and want a little extra income coming in. Um, to it's pay not, for insurance, yes. Yeah, and it's not, it's not physically demanding, although there's, there's some lifting required because the, the food comes in pans, um, but it's not that heavy. Okay. So I, physically it's not a, a hugely demanding position. Okay. Um, great opportunity just to get out and talk to people. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for someone that has an outgoing personality, someone that's very welcoming mm -hmm. and cares about people. Sure. That's true throughout Jamison Community Center. All right, that's important to know. Part-time positions, again, the congregate sites that, would, that you would like to open are Strom Center, Kirkwood Senior Center, Okwaka, Stronghurst, Alexis, and Roseville. Yes. Okay, what else is going on? So we have our community marketplace open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. There's really two components in the marketplace. We have wonderful thrift store items, great place to come and shop, also a great place to donate things that you are no longer using that are still in good condition. So that could range from clothing, I think, is what everyone thinks of first, but we'll take household goods. So if people have small appliances, um, maybe you've updated your kitchen and your microwave no longer matches, we would love to have that microwave. Um, little mini fridges. I know my husband and I have one and we're contemplating getting rid of that because we no longer really need that space. Um, that would be a wonderful thing. Those are just some examples of small appliances, toaster ovens. How about dishes? Dishes we would love to have, yes. So think of things people need in their house for every day life and those are the kinds of things we absolutely want to always have available for families. In addition to that, you know, sometimes people have some more unique items. Um, I know you donated some purses. I had, I've been told I had too many. <laughs> so I, I got to look in and, and uh, my husband was right. I had four, four totes. I think I was able to to give to you and, and barely, barely use. And those went really fast. So people appreciate the ability to come in and purchase things that they need on a daily basis. And our prices are affordable for anyone. Do you reuse purses? Yes, okay. sometimes. 
Depending. Yeah. Depending. So our adult clothing is a dollar. Nice. Kids clothes are 50 cents. My boots today came from a thrift store and they were $2. Nice, nice. I usually have some thrift store clothing on because it's great stuff. And again, affordable prices. And we want to encourage anyone to come in and shop. So proceeds from the thrift store help support our programs. Okay. So anyone from the community is welcome to come in and visit us and, and look around. There's a lot there to select from. And then we also have our food pantry shopping area located in the marketplace. And it's set up so that people can come in, they grab a shopping cart and our shelves are all labeled. It tells you how many items you can select from a shelf based on your family size. And we have that distribution set up according to my plate. Okay. So our shelves are sectioned by food group and the most choices are vegetables because that's your that's what you should have the most of in a day's time. And then we have protein items, we have fruits, we have grains, we have a good variety of grains and if you get there on the right day, sometimes we have milk. <laughs> that is donated to you from the Warren Henderson Farm Bureau. We have some that's donated through them. We also purchase milk mm -hmm. with our funding. Okay. Um, they donate about 60 gallons a month, and we're currently serving um, about 250, 260, and it, that may be higher because I haven't looked at our January numbers yet. Um, families each month, that's a lot of visitors. How many? 250 to 260 families a okay. month. So to just have one gallon of milk for each family, we mm -hmm. need 250 to 260 gallons of milk of okay. milk each month. It's a lot of milk. It is. It is. And we're we're really grateful to Smithfield. They keep our freezer stocked with pork loins. That's a wonderful addition to be able to have. We partner with Riverbend Food Bank. Um, we get a delivery once a month from the Quad Cities from their location there. And we get to order what we want based on the selection they have. And then they opened the new location in Galesburg. That's been wonderful for us because it's close. Yeah, yeah. We can get there and back in about 40 minutes total, where when we went to the Quad Cities, that was about a three hour round trip. Sure, sure. Um, and they have fresh produce available. So we're taking advantage of that in the off weeks of delivery and going and picking up the fresh produce, and that's free to us. There's no charge for us to go pick that up. Okay. So, All right, Nancy, a lot of good stuff going on. We do have a lot of wonderful things happening. We're in the planning stages now already for our summer programs, so summer meals and stars. We're meeting with community organizations on the summer meal side to develop partnerships so that we can make sure we're serving meals where children are. And um, STARS, we're starting to think about that process so that we'll start taking applications in June for families that would like some help with school supplies. Okay. And our, our Community Connections program is a new thing for us. Yeah, we talked about that last week. We did. And so if somebody's out there feeling just really alone and not sure how to maneuver things, um, I know with inflation, we've seen a lot of first time users in a lot of our programs. And so through Community Connections, we can help people make connections to resources, not only through Jamison Community Center, but through other agencies. So we get a really good support network in place. And then we will follow up with that person. Okay. Last thing I have is that P 
pantry at recharge yes that's, a, that's been an awesome partnership. We had those kids come tour Jameson last week, and so interesting to listen to their, their thoughts and have a great conversation. Um, many of them are utilizing our pantry there, and they're, it's, they all look at it as a really positive thing. So we're very happy that we have that space in the teen center run by Eagle View. Not only we, do we stock the food pantry, we also um, pay for the food for their, their cooking classes that they have. Okay, sounds good. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Have a great week. You too, Vanessa. That is Nancy Mallon with us from the Jameson Community Center on 1330 WRAM and FM 94.1. It is 828, good morning. Still forgot the words. LLC or corporation, tax returns aren't simple and